How's it going guys? A massive warm welcome to Kerber EWHQ for this very first BM with Scott session powered by ProDirect Soccer and also brought to us by our global partner Adidas. Hope you're all well, it's great to be back. It seems like it's been ages since we've done any of these sessions as a live stream. In true BM with Scott style, we're gonna get off with some shout outs. So what I wanna see is names, age groups, and where you're from, which clubs you play for. And I'll give you some shout outs. We've got Sam from D-Side Dragons. We've got Archie Smith from Reading Academy. Harrison Mitchell from uh, Dinamo in London. Hi to Rob. Who else have we got in here? Charlie Lee from Warsaw under nines. We've got Archie from Reading Academy. Malik from Dinamo Youth Foundation. Albie Moore's ready to go. Dexter from Dinamo's ready. How are you, Max? Hope you well. We've got Stanley from Cuford Eagles. We've got Louise from Watford FC. Uh, we've got Archie again from uh, from Reading. Really will have to slow it down for me. I need to, uh, to, to speed up, actually. We've got Harry Gray from Leeds United. How are you doing, Harry? Who else? We've got Joe Boardman from Mansfield. Yoon from Flint Academy. We've got Jack and James. We've got Dylan Crowley. Hope you guys are well. Paddy from Watford. Hassan from Leicester City. We've got Elias from Arsenal. We've got Nico from Watford. Oh, they're flying through now. Here we go. Who else have we got? We've got Rocco from Celtic. How you doing, Rocco? You're right, mate. Good to have you on. Uh, who else? We've got Lewis uh, from Leicester City's under 12s. Paddy from Watford. Tom and Matthew from. I need a location there, David. Uh, we've got Cuford Eagles in the house. Who else have we got? We have Mason from Spurs and Dinamo. We've got Bob from Arsenal. Alex from Glasgow. Uh, Samsu from Birmingham. Who else we got? We've got Kev from Celtic. We've got Enoch from Leicester City. We've got Joe from Watford. <laughs> Bob from Everton. Henry from Chelsea. Who else have we got? We've got Amir from Staines Town. Corey from Peter Lee Halford. We've got Samsu in Birmingham. Who else we got? Jamie from Leicester City. Angelino from Arsenal. Luke from Chester. Henry from Chelsea again. Elliot from Premier United. I'm, I'm not doing too bad here, guys, am I? Speed it up. Test me. We've got Jeremy from Global FC. I'm going to do this for another 30 seconds. I need to have a drink. We've got Mark from London. It's flying. How fast can we do it? How fast can you type? We've got Finn and Jacob. Enoch from Leicester. We've got Dan from Hilly Fielders under nines. Who else have we got? Janil from Birmingham. We've got Finn and Jacob. We've got Mark from Liverpool. Uh, we've got Alex Stoke. Alex in Stoke. Who else have we got? Last couple. Sean from Man City. We've got Seth from St Albans, we've got Rafa from Arsenal, Noah in Cork, Joe from Leicester last few minutes, we've got Kieran from Liverpool, you're really testing me? And guys, I think I'm going to have to relax out and have no energy left for this session. So it's absolutely brilliant, I recognise a lot of you guys uh, from your comments, so it's great to have you back, a massive warm welcome for all you guys that are new as well. So we're going to kick it off. I'm going to explain what we're going to be doing tonight and I will be giving some more shout outs as we go through if I've got any, any, any energy left. Um, we're going to be working in three sets. We're going to be working in HIT training style. So we're going to work 30 work, 30 rest, 20 work, 20 rest, and then 10 work, 10 rest. Each of those sets are going to have six different curvable mastery moves. And I'm going to run through them in the warm up for you. I'll show you a few variations because we have a real big mix of ages and abilities on this. So I'm going to show you how to make it easier and harder. Uh, whether it's with the movement, you'll see the coloured lights we've got, which is quite a, a nice, exciting addition to BM with Scott, which I'll, I'll tell you about in a minute. What we're then planning to do is have a bit of a quiz. I know you guys that have done these sessions before love the quizzes from our Powered By partner, ProDirect Soccer. We've got some great prizes to give away during this live stream. So in between each of the sets, we've got one minute rest where we're gonna have a little Premier League a uh, bit of trivia and quiz trivia to see who can win the prizes. So we're going to uh, have a little bit of fun with that. And then depending on, you don't know whether you can see it, people are sick of hearing about this now. I'm carrying a bit of an injury with my knee, so I'm going to have to see how this goes. I haven't done this for a little while. Um, but if it's okay, I'm going to do a fourth set, which is based on our Kerber X programs. So this is going to be much more advanced with the moves and different things. So we can really challenge you with that four set, but we'll see how we get on, see how I get on uh, with the old knee. Um, last little thing is we wanna see you guys in action. So please either uh, take a video of yourself uh, during the session, uh, when you upload the content, make, make sure to tag in at Kerber EW, um, at ProDirect Soccer, hashtag BM with Scott, uh, and you guys will also go into a prize draw to win a nice prize, also provided by our partners at ProDirect Soccer. So guys, I think that's everything from my end. I think we'll get on from the uh, with the warm-up. Does that sound good to everyone? 
What have we got? Does that all sound good? Are we ready to get going? So remember, make sure you've got your drink handy. This would be a good time to have a little sip now. We're going to get a little warm up. I'm going to show you the moves we're going to get cracking. All right, let's have a little go then. So if you get by your ball, I'm going to face the way that you're, um, you're facing so it makes more sense. So our first little move that we've got is toe taps with fast feet. So remember, a big part of these sessions is keeping fit during this particular period that we're in in lockdown. So it's really, really important that you guys are working hard as much as you can and preferably with the ball. Um, so what we're going to be working on is so toe taps is just using the inside of our feet just to tap, tap the ball side to side. But what we're going to do is four toe taps. We're going to go one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do fast feet around the ball. So we're getting a little bit of foot action going. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then we're going to come back around here. So it's one, two, three, four, fast feet, one, two, three, four, fast feet. Now the variation I'm going to give you with that, if you want to make it a little bit more challenging, is to throw a sole tap in. So you're going to go toe tap, one, two, sole tap, one, two. So that's on top of the ball, fast feet around here. So toe tap, sole tap, fast feet. So just a little variation. It's up to you what you do to challenge yourself. Of course, speed's going to be the big thing. So try to do it as fast as you can. All right, we ready then? I'm going to count you down from 10, where we'll have a little go at this toe taps with the fast feet. Here we go. Ready, play. One, two, three, four, fast feet. Seven, eight, nine. I'm going the wrong way. Six, <laughs> five, four, three, two, and one and relax now just have a little little roll i was actually counting up i was making the warm-up longer two forwards and two back two forwards and two back there we go stretch night and long and slow we're going to get a good old warm-up this is a really dynamic session okay we're going into ball mastery move two now this is going to be pull push with the laces so i'm going to be coming back around your way again so i'm just using the sole of my foot to pull the ball back towards me, then I'm pointing my toes down to the ground to create a big surface on the laces part of my, my boot to push the ball forward. So I've got this little movement here. Now again, what we want with this, ideally, is you've got this little hop in between. But again, just depending on what you're doing, you could do it like this if you're new to ball mastery. But if you're going to challenge, we're getting that little hop in. And your variation is to add an inside outside roll to this combination. So, we're going to challenge you with these moves. So, again, what you'll do, like the first one, we're going to go pull push, and then we're going to do an inside outside roll, right, then left. Pull push, inside outside roll, inside outside roll, pull push, inside outside roll. I've got to watch my knee with that one, it doesn't like it. But that's a way for you guys to challenge yourself. So, again, we'll count you down from 10. Ready, go. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax there. Just lock your arms in. We'll go right, little twist. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch arms. A little bit of twist on that lower back. My back feels tight. I've not done this for quite a while. So uh, I'm looking forward to this myself. It's going to be a tough workout. Good, there you go. So looking at ball mastery move three then, we're going to go for inside outside cuts with the right foot. So what you'll notice, we want you to be technically balanced. So in these sessions, you're going to work both feet equally, right and left. It's really important if you can have all the options available to you in gameplay, that you can use both sides. That's really, really important. So we're going to start off there. Ball mastery move three is just using the inside and the outside of your foot. Well, an easy way to remember it's your big toe and your little toe. So I've got a nice soft knees. I'm going in, out, in, out, in, out. And you can get that real speed, that real quick feet. So I'm going in, out, and I'm over the ball for balance. This is almost like that little messy, what we would call a drag push, 1v1 faint. It's like the building block to that. Now to challenge a little bit more, you're going to add a toe tap to that. So what will happen is you're going to go inside, outside, and then toe tap, one, two, in, out, one, two, in, out, one, two, in, out, one, two. All right, so taking it up a level if you guys want to challenge yourself that way. So same again, count you down from 10. Inside, outside, cuts on the right foot. Ready, go. 10, 9, 8. While you're doing it, try to scan as well. 
If we bring those eyes up, that's going to be another way to challenge ourselves. Five, four, three, two, one. You'll hear me mention scanning a lot during this session. So while we're in possession, think about being in the game. If we are looking down at the ground and the ball, we can't see teammates, opponents or space or actually anything. To be an effective player, we we'll need to be able to see the pictures. So when we're practicing ball mastery, try, try to challenge your visual skills as much as you can. Okay, let's get those groins going. Little harp in between. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And as mentioned, what we do with the right, we're going to do with the left for technical balance. So we're just switching feet now to the left. Your left foot's not just for standing on all you righties out there. So same again, nice off knees over the ball for balance. So it's inside, outside, inside, outside. And I'm on real control of the ball. I'm on top of the ball, over the ball, on balance. And again, if you want to make this a little bit more challenging, you've got the toe tap. I'm going in, out, one, two, in, out, one, two, in, out, one, two, in, out. And you'll just see my body shape change. When I'm in this position for this inside outside, it's a bit lower. You can imagine that defender in front. When I go to the toe tap, I'm coming up a little bit. Just so I'm just changing that body shape each time. And I'm moving nice and smoothly. Okay, so same again. Count it out from 10. Here we go. Ready, go. 10, 9, 8. Can you scan? Visualize yourself on the pitch. Imagine where are you in the game? What position do you play in? Three, two, one, and relax there. We'll do hamstrings this time now. It's just going to be right to right, left to left. I have to go easy on this. There you go. Six, five, extend your range of movement. Four, three, two, and one. So ball mastery move five then is going to be dribble cut. So it's a bit like adding uh, three and four together. We're going to be using both feet in the same sequence now. So we're going inside of the right to outside of the left inside of the left to outside of the right. So this is actually a ball mastery move that's really effective in the game to get you out of that tight spaces. So if I can't play over this way, imagine I could be a centre, centre mid, can't play this way, a quick shift of feet, can I play this way? Can't play here, can I play there? It's a really, really good one for players that play in the middle of the pitch, looking to switch play, could be a centre back, centre mid, etc. So uh, the way that we're going to make this a little bit more difficult is then add in a dribble cut using the sole and the outside. So this is going to be the one we start with, inside, outside. And then the variation is going to be sole, outside, sole, outside. Then we're going to go in, out, in, out, sole, out, sole, out. So you use that alternately if you want to challenge yourself. Here we go then, dribble cuts inside and outside, all the other way if you want to do it. I think I'm going to stick to that. Ready? Go. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Can you scan two? I'm looking for the space, looking for the press, looking for the run. That's really, really crucial that you link this back to the game. Of course, this is massively important for fitness and we're working uh, together now, but we want to try to make you more effective in the game for the teams that you play for. So last little one then, we're going to go across. With your hamstrings, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And finally, what we've got, we're going to throw, uh, throw one of the curve again moves in. This is what we call a feint. So you would use a feint if the defender was blocking you in front or behind. And this is called the sidestep. For me, I think this is the fastest feint that you can do to create space for yourself to run, shoot or pass, to get past an opponent in front or, or behind. So what we're going to do here is take a little outside right foot touch. Now what that will do is that will bring the defender across out of the space you want to move into, because the idea is I'm now pretending to take the ball with the outside of my right foot, and I'm now going to take it into the space with the left. And often it's just about imbalancing the opponent. You could be on the edge of the box, all you need to do is the opponent sort of leaning this way, they're off balance and you've got space for a shot. So this is a really, really effective feint. And same again, so it's left, side step, left, side step, left, side step. 
Now really what you should be treating that as, imagine you had someone overlapping you and that was a fake outside of the foot pass. That's what's really gonna sell the dummy. It's a bit difficult for me to do this properly, but this is what we're after. So you go into that low position, it looks like an outside of the foot pass. That sells the dummy or the feint to the defender and you drive into the space. How we're gonna make that difficult, this is a challenge for me, but hopefully you guys will do it, is we're gonna have a triple side step. So you're gonna push the ball and you're gonna go one, two, three, back inside. One, two, three, back inside. So it's fast, two, three, nice and low. So that's how you're gonna challenge yourself. Count you down from 10 then. Here we go. Ready, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Can you scan? Five, four, three, two, one. And relax there, good job. Last one then. Thigh out, kick out and down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So guys, that is our warm up for this very first BM Scott session. Let's get a drink. Get your, uh, it's not hot in here with all the lights. So you guys now should be nice and warm. We're gonna get into this first set, which is the 30-30 round. Now it's up to you guys to challenge yourself to work as hard and as fast as you can. All right, you're gonna get out of this session what you put into it, just like anything in life. If you just coast through this, you should be really, really out of breath after each set. That shows you that you're pushing yourself. Now if you wanna keep healthy and keep fit, it's really, really important that you push yourself every day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get these blaze pods on as well. So, for the eyes up to help you guys at home, now assuming you can see this, if you can't, you'll need to visualize yourself on the pitch. Uh, what we've got here, there we go, it's decided to disconnect itself. Not to worry, we'll come back to that in the next set. So I'm gonna get the timer on. Here we go, so 30 seconds. And we're in, the timer's ticking down. There we go, is that all on, perfect. We've got 20 seconds. So remember the first one we've got is toe tap, two, three, four, fast beat round the ball. Now your touch count, that counts as one. All right, so that counts as one. So I want you to count how many you can get in 30 seconds, and I want you to post in the comments how many you got. So if I go one, two, three, four, here we go, ready? One, two, three, four. So there's one for me. One, two, three, four, there's two for me. One, two, three, four, I've got to slow down, I think. That's three for me, one, two, three, four. Can you scan? One, two, three, four. You might put that little combination in like I talked about. One, two, three, four. Fast feet, make sure we're counting. One, two, three, four, 10 seconds left. Can we scan? One, two, three, four. We're round again. One, two, three, four. B. Last one. There, we've got 30 seconds rest. How many did we get? Can we post in the comments how many you got? Who else have we got in here? A few more chat outs. We've got El Nino and Gabriano from Liverpool under 11s and 13s. Hello, guys. Who else have we got? Some great scores flying in. What did we get? We got some all double figures that we can see. Brilliant scores. Now, remember that because that's a way to challenge yourself. So, what we've got now is the pull push with the laces. Okay, we're ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go, eyes up. Make sure we're scanning. Remember you've got the little variation, I can't quite do it on that leg, but you've got the inside outside roll. There we go. Keep it going, there's 10 seconds left. Remember we're, we're scanning, we're seeing what's going on. Can you speed it up now? Can you speed it up? It's four, three, two, one. Relax. So guys, I'm gonna have to stop a little bit before just because of my knee, I can't go through it full throttle like I usually do. I'm gonna start it off with you, and I'll encourage you guys to give you some coaching points. Get the scores up as well, what have we got? There's some cracking scores there. We've got about 10 seconds left. So remember what we've got now is inside, outside for the right. So one, two, three, four, five. So make sure you count, make sure you post. Here we go. Nice soft knees, two, three. Once you've got your rhythm and you feel for the ball, can you get your eyes up? Can we start to scan? Where's the run? 
Where am I passing through? Where's the press? Where's the space? You're looking at all these things. We're about halfway. Can you pick the speed up? Can you challenge yourself? Remember, you've got the little toe tap you can add into it as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You want to challenge. Three, two, one. Relax there. Your heart rate should be coming up. I've made a rookie error. I forgot to put my, my eye watch on. Oh, no. I'll do it in the next set. I can feel my heart rate going up. It's been a while. Let's get the scores in there. What have we got? While we're doing that, use this time to recover. Get you in through your nose, out through your mouth. So you want to work really hard, get your heart rate up, then recover fast. Remember now, left foot, inside, outside. Let's go. Out, four, five, six. Can we scan? Get a little toe tap in as well. There you go. If you want to challenge yourself, challenge your footwork, or you can just stick into here. I've got nice soft knees. Again, I'm visualizing myself on the pitch. I'm scanning, I'm in possession. I'm waiting for that run, really. It's difficult. Keep going. That's five. Speed it up. Speed it up. Faster, faster, faster. Good job. What do we get? Let's get the scores there. Use this time to recover. Breathe it in. You should be out of breath. If you're pushing yourself, that's a really simple way. You don't need technology like a fancy watch. You just get your heart rate right up. You should be out of breath. Look at these scores. They're brilliant. So remember what we've got now is the dribble cuts in and out. Or you can then add the sole and out as well. Here we go. Ready, go. So that counts as one when you go in, out, in, out. That's one. Good. Let's get it going. Can't play this way. Can we play this way? Three. Nice soft knees. Can't play this way. There we go. Changing angle. Changing the angle of attack. I'm nice and light on my feet. You can throw that little one in and go with the sole of the foot. There we go. Five, four, three, and relax. Really well done. We're five in. How many did we get? Let's get those scores flying. So remember, this is now the last one. Ball mastery move six, which is actually a game move. It's going to be the side step. Keep those scores flying. It's absolutely brilliant. So remember now, it's outside of the foot. Then a fake outside of the foot pass. And you lean into it. Touch, side step. Touch, side step. Remember to make it difficult. We've got the, the triples. Ready, go. That's one for me. That's two. I've got to watch myself on this one. Three, I've got nice soft knees and I'm scanning. See, if I get into a 1v1 here, if I'm looking down at the ball, I can't see that defender coming in. So I'm not going to know the where and when to use this move. There we go. Nice low body shape. I'm stepping into it. Imagine that player overlapping. Good. How many did we get? Let's keep those scores flying. I don't know about you guys, I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating here, I can really feel it. What a great way to keep fit, guys. Yes, we're doing what we love doing, we love football. Some of us out there might not even play football, you just want to keep fit. It's a different way of doing it. So that's the end of, end of set one. So we're actually going to go into our first quiz. All right, so how this is going to work, it's going to be the first person that gets the right answer is going to win an Adidas football provided by our Powered By partner, Pro Direct Soccer, right? So all we need is going to be the name of a player in the comments. Make sure your chat is set to live chat so you can actually see it in real time. If it's on top chat, it's biased towards you. So it could look like you're higher in the order than you actually were. So here is the question. Are we ready? And it's just the name. Who is the top goal scorer in the Premier League at the moment? The top goal scorer in the Premier League. Who is it? Who is it? Have we got a name? They're flying in. Who's the top scorer? Wow. It's flying. Oh, there's some different, different answers there as well. Okay, I'm going to tell you what the answer is. The answer is Liverpool's Mo Salah. 
my colleagues at Curva, uh, Pro Direct, sorry, are going to be telling us the answer in the chat. So you got it first. Mo Salah, how many goals do you think he scored? I'm going to give you 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. How many? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's 13. 13 goals. Mo Salah, the top goal scorer in the Premier League. Okay, the timer is coming back on. We're going into set two. There we go. So remember, this is your 2020 round. So we have MP, uh, sorry, MPhil 10 answered first. So really well done. Uh, we'll be getting one of those footballs out to you. Here we go then, the timer's on. We've got 30 seconds more. I've given you a little bit more rest actually. I'm going easy, going easy on you. So what we're doing now is going back through the same moves, but doing it now for 20 seconds work, but it's only 20 seconds rest. You're gonna have to work harder when, you, uh, when we're working and they gotta recover quicker. So this is gonna be a bit more difficult. This is like the speed round. So remember what we're starting off with, we've got the toe taps with the fast feet, or you can add the little soft taps in as well. Here we go. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Can you get somewhere near your first round 30, 30 scores? There we go, what have we got? One, two, three, four. Are we scanning there? Three. One, two, three, four. And we're round. I might throw a little one, two, one, two in there with the sole taps. We're going around. One, two, oi. Shouldn't really be doing that, I guess. We'll do it. Two, three, four. So that seems like it's really quick, doesn't it, that round, taking the 10 seconds off. But I want you to try and get 30 seconds worth of repetition in 20 seconds. And that's on you to work. I want this pedal to the metal now. So remember what we've got now is the pull push with the laces, or you can throw the inside outside, roll in. Here we go. Hey, three, four. As soon as we've got a feel for the ball, can we bring the eyes up? There we go, what have we got? We're about 10 seconds in. Try and do it, just looking up. We got a feel for the ball. There we go. Relax there. Keep those scores flying, I tell you what. Are we getting anywhere near our first round scores? We've got to recover fast. Remember, we're going into number three, which is the inside outside cuts with the right foot. So in, out, we can add the little toe tap in there as well. Ready, go. Two, three. Good, we're getting it moving. Start to scan. We know what the moves are now. They should be programmed into our brain. You get a little toe tap if you want. There we go, getting a little rhythm. Remember that body shape changes. Most of them engage in that 1v1. Excellent work. Keep those scores flying, but we got. Did we beat our first round score for that one? So remember now we're switching feet. We're back to the left foot. In, out, in, out. Here we go. In, out. There we go. Remember you get your little toe tap as well. There we go. I'm scanning. Really? Scanning too much. Oh, it's not like it's live, is it? Oh no. I wanted to get through this without losing control. I was scanning too much. See, it happens. It's not easy. But can you challenge yourself when you're performing these ball mastery moves? Start to scan, start to speed up. It's on you to challenge yourself. So we've got dribble cuts now. Keep your scores flying. Ready? In, out. So I'm having to do this a little bit slower. In, out, in, out. You guys should be doing it much faster than me. Good. Eyes are up. Can't play this way. Changing angles. Can't play this way. Good. Well done. That's one of the real core ones. It helps you in the game massively to switch feet, to get out of trouble. This is why we work both feet equally, so you get out of tight spots. Okay, remember now then, we've got the side step, or you can do the triples for that quick feet, all right? Here we go. There it is. Boom. Keep it going. Good. Eyes are up now. I've got to dip out of this one. Keep going. Let's keep it going. Can you speed your feet up? Imagine that defender in front. Come on, we're popping it. It's nice and quick. We're scanning. Good. That's a great job. That wraps up the second round. What did we get? How are we doing? 
how are we all feeling to in? If some of us haven't done one of these sessions before, you might have thought, oh, this is going to be easy. This is a tough workout physically for getting the ball, but you get out what you put in, don't you? Look at some of these scores. Absolutely brilliant. So guys, you know what's happening now. We're going on to our second Premier League trivia quiz. And again, we've got another football up for grabs for whoever gets the answer first. So you can grab your, you grab your drink as well. We're going to use this as active recovery, keep our brains moving while our bodies recover. So here we go then. This is just the name of a player, just like what we did in the first round. Which player has the most assists in the Premier League currently? Which player has the most assists? So who's created the most goals? Let's go. Who's got the answers? Let's get it flying. Make sure we get your drinks on board as well. Oh, look at this. A mixture of answers. I'm going to give you five, four, three, two, one. And the answer is Spurs and England's Harry Kane. That might surprise a few people, but Harry Kane has got the most assists in the Premier League with 11. And I can actually see some of you guys actually knew how many assists. I think he's got 10 goals and 11 assists. What a brilliant return. So again, our colleagues at Pro Direct are going to give you the answer so you can see who was first. I'm going to get another little sip and I'm going to reset the timer. Reset the timer for our third set, which is the 10-10. So this is the real, real fast round. Real fast round. Let's see who got it. And I'll give them a little shout out. So you'll see it in there. I think I, I, think I might have missed it. I'll, uh, I'll come back at the end. Um, but the timer's on now. So whoever got that first, you will be getting a football out. Let's have a quick look on the screen. We've got Thomas Jenkins. Actually, I can see it. Well done, Thomas. You're going to have one of our Adidas footballs coming out to you. The timer's on. We've only got 15 seconds before we're starting. Let's get into the game zone now. This is the third set. It's only 10 work, 10 rest. This is going to be really, really fast. So if you haven't tried some of the variations, maybe try that now. The toe tap and the sole tap. Challenge yourself. Ready, go. Two, three, four. Fast feet. One, two, three, four. Fast feet. One, two, three, four. Three. I've got three. Rest there. How many did we get? If you can do it, it's only 10 seconds though, so you might not be able to log the scores. You've got to have very fast fingers. Here we go. On to the second one now, Paul Persh. There's my full push. Remember, you can get the little inside outside rolls in there as well. Three, two, eyes up. Well done. Loving these scores. Time is on. We've got the inside outside cuts with the right foot. Ready? By those feet. I'm scanning. I'm in possession. I've got nice soft knees. Three, two, one. Ready? Good, heart rate should be up. You need to be doing this as fast as you can. I'm onto the left foot now. Here we go. Switch. Out, in, out. Really firing, I've got five seconds left. How many can we get? We're scanning. Good. Really well done, we're into the dribble cut. Inside, outside, remember? Great one for changing angles in the game. Ready? And we're in. Don't forget you can use the sole of the foot there as well. Has the same effect. Yeah, man. Well done. Last little one. We're flying. Keep the scores in. You've got to type fast and we're back to the ball. Here we go. We've got the side step. Ready? Two, three, four. And we're in. Get the triples. Get your, get your feet going. Good. And we're right back. Woo! How are you feeling? I actually forgot to set my watch again. Oh dear, I'll have to remember that next time. Let's keep the scores going. Keep the scores going. What do we get? Hopefully you guys are as out of breath as me. And you've got a good sweat on, because remember, working hard and exercise makes you feel good. And it's really, really important that we do it every day. It's really, really good for our mental health as well as our physical health. So here we go then, we've got the final Premier League quiz question for another ball, again being provided by our Powered By partners, ProDirect Soccer. Here we go. You can get a little drink. I think you might have earned it. Here we go then. So this is going to be the name of a team. I'm just going to let you know. This is going to be the name of a team. Which team 
has scored the most goals in the Premier League this season? Which team scored the most goals? Here we go. Who's going to be first? Who's going to be first? I'm sure the answers are going to be flying in. Who do you think it is? It might be something that you don't expect. It might be. Here we go. They're flying now. I'm going to give you five, four, three, two, one. And the answer is Liverpool FC. So Liverpool FC scored the most goals with 37 goals. So we're going to see who's got that one. Just while we're doing that, we can get our heart rate down, get a little drink. And I think, I reckon my knee is going to be up to this Curve X format. So we're going to do one last set. So this is going to take it up a notch in terms of the ball mastery. So you can try it if you want. You don't have to do it. But we're going to make this a little bit more complex now. So we're going to work 30-30 in this set four on the same format we use for our Curve X sessions. Okay. So Daniel Hodge, well done, Daniel. You were first with the answer of Liverpool. And you can have one of those footballs coming out to you. So the time is coming on. Now I'm going to have to explain these moves really, really quick. Let's get the timer back to set one. And I'm going to show you what we're doing. Right. I will press the timer, I guess, in 10 seconds. So what we're doing, the ball mastery move one, I'm going to actually use a lot of the moves we've just used, but I'm going to add them together to make it more complicated. So ball mastery move one, I'm going to go into this 30 seconds. The timer's on. Let's get ready. It's going to be toe tap, pull push, inside outside cut. So we're working both feet. So what's going to happen is toe tap, then pull push, then inside outside cut right, inside outside cut left. Toe tap, pull push, in, out, in, out. Toe tap, pull push, in, out, in, out. It counts as one when you get through the sequence. Here we go. Let's have a little go. Ready? we go we're making it a little bit more complex now toe tap pull push can we scan there we go this might not be for everyone but i want to challenge you guys with this four set toe tap pull push can we scan in out in out there we go nice low body shape on the inside outside we're taking up the level now relax there I'm actually not doing too bad with this, with the old knee. So this time now, the dribble, cut, pull, push behind. This is going to be number two. So I'm going to go in, out, in, out. Then I've got a double pull, push behind. So I'm doing this little V move. Sole to inside, right to left. Sole to inside, left to right. In, out, in, out. Pull, push behind one. Pull, push behind two. So actually, that both those moves are really good for changing the angle of attack. Ready, go. And I'm in. Pull push one, pull push two. And I'm back. I've got my dribble cut. Can't play here. Can't play here. There we go. I'm back in. Nice soft knees. Changing angles. Can you speed it up? You should be doing it faster than me if you're having a go. <laughs> I'm in a bit, a bit of slow motion. Good. I'm scanning. There it is. This is a real key one. Two, one. Relax there. Good job. How many of us have got that? The, the scores have gone down. Well, the scores have gone quiet. Is this too tough for us? <laughs> it is tough, but this is what, with practice, you can really build this up. So what we're now doing is combining number one and two together into one sequence. We've now got a toe tap, pull push, in, out, in, out. Dribble cut, pull push behind. Hey, pull push behind. Ready, go. So we're just adding one and two together. So you've got to remember the whole sequence. There we go. Double pull push behind. Eyes up. And I'm back in. Toe tap. Pull push. In, out. In, out. Dribble cut. And I'm back to my pull push behind. And I get back in. Now we're really cooking. We're challenging you. Three, two, one. Relax there. So again, look, we're taking it up a level. I'm all good, thanks. Sneaker in the storm. Well, yeah, not too bad. I'm holding up. So we're now into game moves now. So this changes. So what we're now looking to do, we're doing two feints. We've got the side step with the scissors now. So we've got 
outside of the foot behind the ball, outside of the foot around the inside of the ball. So two feints, we're going right side step, left scissors. Ready? Go. And we're in. So it's a nice, nice low foot around the ball so you can push off quick. Here we go. And I'm dipping in. I'm dipping into it. We're halfway. Don't forget to scan. There we go. 10 seconds. Let's keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. That's there. Really well done. So, for technical balance, we're now going to start off the side step on the left foot, and now the scissors going to come to the right. So we're switching feet now. So I can have that defender in front of me. Boom, boom, right foot shot. Or boom, boom, left foot shot. As an example. Here we go. So start with the left foot side step. Ready? And we're in. Make sure we're scanning. I'm over the ball for balance. There we go. I could have that defender in front. That little touch is going to engage them. Oh, I forgot then, we're halfway. Keep pushing it. There we go. Three. Nice and low. They can push off quick. There it is. We're scanning. Three, two, one. There. So this is the last one now. This is the last one where we're going to add game move one and two together. So what we're going to do is a right foot side step. We do a left foot scissors, a right foot scissors, and a left foot side step, and we start again. Side step, scissors, scissors, side steps. We work both feet equally in the one action. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> and we're in. So two scissors, side step and back, side step, touch, scissors, touch, scissors, touch, side step. Start again. There it is, push it. 20 seconds, and I'm in. Three, forget what I'm doing. Good, nice low feet, side step. Got my scissors, there's 10 seconds left. Let's keep it going. This is more physical now. Challenging you more physically. Good. Rest there. Guys, really well done. Now, I'm gonna tell you what's coming. Just to finish us off, this is the finisher of the session. We're gonna do a Curve Rex challenge. This is the last 30 seconds where we're gonna combine ball mastery one and two with game move one and two into one sequence. You're gonna to have to do it as fast as you can. So this is the sequence. Keep the scores coming. Toe tap, full push, in, out, right, in, out, left. Dribble cut, double pull push behind. Remember, a big part of these sessions is concentration when you're tired. Side step, scissors, scissors, side step, and that counts as one. You have to get through that as many times as you can. So you've got to remember the sequence, but I still want you to execute with speed and quality. Do you think we can remember it? It's a lot to put on, yeah? But you guys need to uh, be really good at watching what happens and remembering. So when your coach gives you instructions or you see something in the pitch, you have to really concentrate, especially when you're tired. This is the ideal thing to finish the session off because it's going to test your performance. Right, are you ready then? I'm going to get this set on. We're going to work for 30 seconds and this is going to be the final thing we do. Here we go, into the game zone. So remember, I'll run through once more. We've got toe tap. Uh, sorry, toe tap with the fast feet. I missed that one off, didn't I? Toe tap with the fast feet. I know it's a different session. What am I about? I'm actually uh, doing the wrong session. Toe tap, pull push, inside, outside. We add on to the dribble cut, pull push behind, the side step with the scissors, scissors side step, and we go. Here we go. There we go. In, out, switch, in, out, switch. Dribble cut. I've got my double pull push behind. I'm into my side step, scissors, scissors, side step, and I'm now back. Toe tap, pull push, in, out, switch. Can we scan my dribble cut? There we go, double pull push behind. And I've now got my side step, 
scissors, scissors, side bend. Two, two with a bad leg, bad knee. Guys, how did you find that? That's difficult, it's really, really difficult. But on these sessions, I want to give you something for everyone. So I know some of you out there, we've got players from all ages, literally from every level of the game. So I hope you guys uh, really enjoyed that. So guys, that wraps up our very first BM Scott live stream powered by Prodor and Soccer. There we go, the timer's on. Oh, it's actually going again. There we go, we'll cancel that. Stop it. <laughs> but guys, really well done. It's been an absolutely brilliant first session. What we need you guys to do now, what we need you to do is make sure you've, you're posting some content. We want to see you in action. Make sure to tag in at Curve W uh, at Pro Direct Soccer, hashtag BM with Scott, and you guys tag two friends in as well. And you guys were going to a prize draw to win another football. So make sure you guys, can we really spread the word with these sessions? I think they're really, really important at the current time. And we're going to be doing this for the next five weeks, maybe longer, depending on what happens. But we're going to be with you all the way through this lockdown. So however long it goes on, we're going to be with you guys and supporting you on a weekly basis. So guys, really, really well done. Let me know how, how you found the session in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And I really, really, really uh, will love seeing you again next week. So this is like the starter. We're going to raise the bar. We've got loads of cool things planned for you. So guys, really, really well done. On behalf of Kerber Coaching, our Powered by Partners, Pro Direct Soccer, and our global partner, Adidas, thanks for taking part. And I'll see you next time. See you guys. Bye-bye.